Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Meal Life. I'm your host, Jen Fox, and we have a special guest here today. Toby is a busy professional new to the city, and today he's going to go over his favorite fitness tool that helps him stay in shape. It is called the Meal Classic Select. Thanks for having me on the show, Jen. I'm actually wearing my classic now, and I want to show you how it works with your help. Okay, before we start off, can you tell us a little bit about what this watch is used for? The Mio Classic is a strapless heart rate monitor watch. It's ideal for any fitness enthusiast who wants to maximize their workout with on-demand, ECG accurate heart rate without an annoying chest strap. It's great to see how effective your workout is because it displays your exertion level on the screen, which is based on your heart rate, your individual details, and the calories burned during your workout. Wow, it's like a personal trainer on my wrist. Okay, let's get started. If your watch comes with a security tag, just cut it off. First, we're going to set up the time. The screen that the watch comes on is the time screen. Press and hold set to change the time. Press plus or minus to toggle the clock format and press set to select. Next, you'll need to set the hour by pressing the plus or minus buttons and use the set to select. Repeat this for minutes, seconds and the AM and PM values. To customize your watch further, press mode until you reach the date screen. Use the plus and minus buttons to find the right date, followed by your birth year and then your sex. After the initial weight setup, when you need to change it, it will be located in the weight mode screen. To customize your weight, use plus or minus button to toggle between kilograms and pounds and press set to confirm and then use the plus or minus buttons to increase or decrease your weight accordingly. So now that we have a watch all personalized, what exactly is the next step? I want to show you how easy it is to get your heart rate. Mm -hmm. Just put your two fingers on the two sensors on the front of your watch, wait a matter of seconds, and your heart rate will appear. Okay, it says 75 and 41%. What exactly does that mean? 75, which is the large number, is your heart rate, and the 41 is your percentage of your maximum heart rate, or exertion level. Have you heard of training zones? Well, I've heard of them, but do you want to elaborate a little bit for the audience? For a healthy heart, you ideally want to be in the 60% zone. If you want to lose weight, ideally 70%, and for a full cardio workout, ideally 80%. I'm personally a jogger, so when I'm jogging, will I actually have to stop to take my heart rate? Absolutely not. Mio can read your heart rate while you're doing a fast walk or even a medium to slow jog. Just keep your watch arm low and relaxed and place your fingers on the two sensors, like this, and then press just hard enough to see the words test appear. No need to press too hard. If you find you're having trouble getting a reading, check out our frequently asked questions section on miowatch.com. The next step is to set your resting heart rate. So what exactly is a good resting heart rate? Well, Mio Classic comes with a default resting heart rate of 70 beats per minute. But to make it more accurate, what you should do is set your own resting heart rate early in the morning. It's best to speak to your doctor to find out what your target resting heart rate should be because it depends on your age and weight. From the time screen, you press mode seven times until you reach the resting heart rate screen. Then you take your heart rate just as we demonstrated before. So what other features are there? Well, there's a count up timer. Press the mode button until you get to the timer screen and then the start stop to use the timer. There's also a lap button which will give you splits and record your lap times. Okay, so now can you go over the weight management modes with us? Absolutely. The Mio Classic comes with a daily calorie target. This is based on calculations which are are on miowatch.com and also in the classic user guide. To input your daily calorie target, go to the target screen and press and hold set. Then use the plus and minus buttons to toggle up and down until you find the right target for you. So can you go over the next step with us? Well, the next step is to enter the number of calories that you eat during the day. On the calorie in screen, there are a series of bars at the top. This indicates your calories in in comparison to your target daily. If my goal for the day was 1,500 calories and halfway through the day I'd eaten just 750 calories but done no exercise, the bar would show that I would be halfway to my target of 1,500 calories. So do I have to enter it in meal by meal or can I just enter in one amount at the end of the day? Well, you can put in one amount at the end of the day, but if you want to track your calories throughout the day, I'd recommend putting it in meal by meal. You enter your calories consumed in the calories in screen, then use the plus and minus to enter your meal calories. In your box, you'll find a Mio Sense guide, which will have a number of food groups and drinks and the calories attributed to it. Also, on our miowatch.com, there's a downloadable form with different food groups and calories associated with them. 
Okay, Jen, I've taken you through all the modes and features of the watch. Do you have any questions? Well, it sounds like a great fitness tool, but how accurate is it? That's the thing I love about the Mio Classic. It's like just getting your heart rate from a doctor. There's more information on miowatch.com about the accuracy of the watch. Wow, it really is like a personal trainer. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today, Toby, and thank you for tuning into this episode of Mio Life. For more health and fitness tips, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and join us next time for more inspiration, health tips, and how-to guides.